morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. And today we're gonna try and do a video decorating the Skinny Mini with some of my newest stickers, my new fall stickers. Now, why I say try and do a video is because my voice is not the greatest still. I've had COVID now for, geez, I think I'm on my third week. Yeah and it just won't go away. I'm feeling better, but it's still in my sinuses and my, in my throat, and of course it's affecting my voice. So I'm not sure how this is gonna to sound to you, and I apologize, but I really wanna get this video out. My internet's out right now, so I can't do work on orders, I can't uh, make stickers, I can't do anything, so I thought, why not record a video? I have Skinny Mini, blanks for sale in my Etsy store at Periwinkle Planner Co. on Etsy.com. Um, I started making them because Happy Planner wasn't putting out any more skinny minis. Well, now I guess they are. So um, I'm going to show you the plan with me on my pages. And then I have an old 2020. It was the correct dates that I am going to also use with the stickers. And I think that I'm going to use not these ones, but these, um, where are we here? These for the first day of fall. I am missing one pumpkin, it looks like, but I do have more. So, so um, these, let's see. This one and this cute one are a new set that I have out. And then the ones I just paged through, which are, um, these ones, which have the florals on them, which match the florals from a previous um, sticker sheet that I launched, and then these solid, a sheet of the solid ones. Now, actually, I think these smaller ones would fit better in here. You know what? Let's use these instead, just because I think they'll fit better. Yeah. So let me get back to ones that I've used somewhat. And let's try these on here. So the easiest way to decorate a Skitty Mini is to put the stickers down the center because that way um, they're not interfering with your writing. Now my setup, my setup on this layout is I have a habit tracker up here, Monday through Wednesday and then Thursday through Sunday, where Happy Planners has the blank down here and the Monday through Thursday and the Friday through Sunday. So it's a little bit different but the spacing is pretty much the same. And mine is lined where Happy Planners is not lined. And mine has check boxes, which you can use or you can cover them with stickers. So I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do today. Let's kind of just see what happens. Let's use these solid color ones first. Um, I like to have is the last sheet up here. So let's just see what we can do. These have, I'm looking for him. These have um, the large size here and then these two rows are the same and then some leaves in between. So I think I'm gonna take these by the color and just go down the center here. And let's see how this fits. If I stick this on here, it is gonna cover part of my habit tracker. Um, I mean, if that's an issue for you, then you won't want to put it there. But for me, I usually just write my, um, try to keep this steady, my, ah, I ripped it, my dinner's over here. So I don't need the rest of this part of the habit tracker. Anyway, let's see if I can stick this back together. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take these. And I think I'm going to do the top one and then do the bottom one so I can see spacing. This shouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> I think it's a little hard because I'm under the weather. So then what I'm just gonna try and do here is not cover up the days of the week. And I also need to add some numbers to this too, which we will we will do. So I have two, 
two more to go in here. All right. And I'm not talking because I'm concentrating. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this one a little bit more. Oh. I'm going to have to cut it apart and repunch it too. There we go. So let's first cut it. And then we need to punch it. I think that I am going to use. I have so many of these happy planner punches. Whoa. So I'm going to take the bottom of this off. Of course, it's got lots and lots of little papers in it. You need to empty that out. And by doing it this way, then when you put the paper in here, you can, see if you put it in here, then turn it over, you can line up on here where the punch should be. And then punch it, and then it will get in the right spot. But now sometimes when you use stickers in here it jams this up because it's sticky so I just take a tweezers and clean these out and hopefully unjam the one that's jammed I'm not sure which one it which one is jammed Oop, I guess it wasn't jammed it was just sticky stuck okay so then this one I'm gonna put in here same thing put it in and find the holes see it's kind of like moving it to where the hole is. There's a hole, there's a hole, and then punch, and pull these out again. I think these may be old ones that are in here. So this may not happen to you. All right, so we have these punched, and then I gotta get my numbers out of here. And I'm doing this for the week of the 16th through the 22nd since that's what this one is, so I guess I'll just date it the same. And I just, I sell these little, in my shop too, these little um, days of the week with the numbers. And I have stickers on my fingers, jeez. It's just, when, when they gave Monday its bad name, um, they knew what they are talking about. This Monday has not been going well for me. Another sticker. Ugh. All right. So my daughter is getting married in December and I have started all the fun of putting together a bridal shower and getting my dress. And I got one dress, had to send it back because it was too big. Now I got another dress and it's slightly too small, but I think I can lose a little bit of weight by then. So that'll be good. And then my shoes are too big, so I have to send those back and get another pair of shoes. And then I'm gonna get my dress hemmed. It's like a lot, <laughs> a lot of things. All right, so we got those cute pumpkins down in the middle there. So let's get back to our pumpkins, now we lost them. I wanna use some leaves and some other things. So we use this sheet. So I'm thinking that in these little spaces, we could stick some, this one could probably use a big leaf over here and here just to fill that in. Well, maybe not because then that one's, we'll have to put it somewhere else. How about up here? So I'm gonna put this like on here since I won't be. I'm gonna cover up the days of the week there. There we go. And let's take the small one and put it they're all the same size, these small ones. Just fill that in right there a little bit. All right. And then see up here, I have a dinner sticker somewhere. I'm gonna put dinners up here like this. How many lines do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Go up here, I think. So then let's just put dinners and then um, I guess we could just write something in.
All right, so that's that. Now for plans, um, you can either put more stickers on here if you want to, or you can um, leave it just with this decoration like this. I'm just trying to think what's going on here. This is first day of fall. Clean this day. I should really pull up my calendar. <laughs> I have work this day in the post office. Let me look at my calendar real quick here. September 16th. Um, we have bills to pay here. We have to pay a bill here. Pay bills here. <laughs> Jeez, and pay bills there. A lot of bills that week. And then, let me think, what else do we do? Wednesday, I change towels. I don't have any appointments this week. Change sheets. Bathe Mac. And it's trash and recycle on Thursday. On the 16th, I have to trim... Max nails. Trim. We'll put trim boys nails. Cause we'll do Ollie and Mac. All right. So that's what I have. Oh, here I'm on a menu plan here. And of course, laundry will fall in here somewhere, and other things like that. But so that's kind of what I know is going on. So since I know that, then I can take some of these stickers. And see that Friday's a little less uh, busy, so we can stick this right in here. I think I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Make it go off the page ever so slightly. And then we'll take another one. So another place. Let's see. I'm going to put this one, put this one down here. Kind of cut that one off a little bit. And then maybe we can take a leaf and put that and cut that in half and put half on this side and half on the other side maybe. This one will fit over here. It's stuck on my finger. <laughs> put that. Like so, and then this one can go over on this side. Maybe up here. And let's stick a couple more pumpkins in here. I want to put more on this side, but it actually looks kind of full on this side, so I don't think, I mean, I could. <clears throat> Or just put it up here. I'll put this one up here just because the color goes better. So I'm trying to fit that one all the way on there. That leaf just the tiniest bit up here. Oops. There. I want to fit. Maybe I'll just stick leaves because that works a little better. And just stick them in here. There we can put one. And then maybe we can put the small one on here. Just to add a little bit. And then I have I'm thinking I kind of want to put one more pumpkin here. Um maybe we'll cut this guy in half. it down more like that so you kind of just fill the stickers in where you find room and for me it helps when I have um, written my plans in because then I know what my plans are so I know where I have more room to stick something I'd really like to stick something over here too think that I am going to take this one and just kind of cover this last 
last couple uh, checklists. I can always write it over there just to make it look cute. You know, this could be your catch-all planner, but more than likely it's your planner that you take with you, so you may not have too many things going on. But that's looking kind of cute there. I need to trim this a little bit. All right. I think that looks good. Now, if you wanted to, you could also take like, thinking of like a light colored um, highlighter and you could highlight the days of the week to kind of separate them a little more since on mine, it doesn't have the um, lines are in between each day. To me, this just helps me kind of see a little bit better in there. And then you can also take um, these zig clean color dot markers and use them to add some color to these dots over here. I like that. Okay, so let me know what you think. Um, I like how this looks. And of course I am particular and like my layout better than the Happy Planner layout. <laughs> but you can use it Either way, look how cute that is. Until next time, bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be notified every single time that we upload. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.